Miles was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, which is very significant, you know, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2006, and uh, his nephew was asked, uh, are you ever going to do a movie about his life? And he said, yeah, and Don Cheadle's going to play him, which is the first I had heard of it. Uh, and we just started on a journey that is now almost 10 years of trying to put this movie together. And, and uh, thankfully, we're here at the New York Film Festival, and it's, uh, it's a beautiful thing. Miles Davis doing my work. That would be great. All right. I, I watched him on different movies. And piqued my interest because he, he had certain expressions that reminded me of Uncle Miles. You know, never met him, and we did a press conference at Rock and Roll Hall of Fame 2006. Who's going to play your Uncle Miles? Don Cheadle. He was, he, you know, I, I just felt it. You always wish you had more time to do things differently. You always, you know, hope that you could have, but the beautiful thing about it is that it's, it is what it is, and we're here now, and it's very meta in Miles in that way that Miles was always about dealing with whatever elements he had at the time and putting his all into it and then moving on. So, you know, whether or not we have these lingering feelings about what ifs and could have beens, it's very meta to, to put it out there and let the audience have it and then move to the next thing. It's not mine anymore. One, two, one, two. Miles' own words, he talked about everything that's in the film and that he was not embarrassed or shy or ashamed of anything he did. Uh, to, to him, he was like, yeah, there are regrettable things, but that's me. And I'm not hiding from it and I'm very honest about it. Uh, I don't, you know, he didn't move forward with wishes that he had, whatever. He said, this is all a part of who I am. So I, again, feel very um, honored and very fortunate that the family in the similar spirit said, yeah, show, show everything.